So I was involved in a couple of startups uh, in the valley. The most probably well known is epinions.com. Um, it was a very interesting experience. It was definitely back in the days of no business models, no anything, just figure out a cool pitch and eyeballs and put a team that looks young enough together and the old VCs will fund you. And that's kind of what Epinions was about. Uh, so it was a really interesting experience. And then after being in London for two years and started working with my dad in Eugene, Oregon and the company. And in 07, he stepped back and um, my husband and I run Palo Alto Software and we have since 07. It is about the role of the founder and particularly the CEO and then whoever the other co-founders are. I think it's really important and what I've seen throughout the startups I've been involved in and then running Palo Alto Software for now almost six years um, is that it's really, really critical from a leadership perspective that all of you as co-founders are very distinct in what you bring to the table, what your roles are, and what the job definition is. That when things get blurry, it's hard not just for you guys right now in the startup phase, but it's hard all along the way. It's hard when you pitch. You know, people you're pitching to want to have a clear sense of who does what and why and what the background is. It's hard when you start bringing on employees. They don't want to be confused as to who has the final say, who are they supposed to go to, who do they report to, and oftentimes when you're in startup mode, a lot of people kind of feel like, we'll deal with that later, we'll deal with that later, we're just going to run as quickly as we can right now, and we're all working really, really hard, and we don't have to define things, and I think that from being in situations where that was the case, Epinions was like that. No one had any titles, no one had any job descriptions, we were like anti-titles, and the more we hired people, the more confusing it was. People weren't all working in the right direction. Nobody knew who had the final say. Um, and it's also really hard to build a culture that way too, right? Because everybody's just running around with like their heads cut off doing what they think is the most important thing. Um, so I would definitely say that one of the things that I've learned is the more definition you can give to your role in your co-founder's role and who does what and why and then justify it with your background, the better you guys are going to be as you build out your companies in whatever stage you happen to be in. That it's really important you see a lot of, I'm the CEO and you know he's the president and it's like, well, what does that mean? Who's the really CEO or I want to be the this because there's more to do than you, know, you guys sitting here can possibly do to get the business running but understanding the roles will make things go faster and will also help reduce the friction between co-founders, right? You work really long hours, you got this dream, you're giving up a lot to be here, you really believe in where you're going and emotions can run high. And the more cloudy, fuzzy, gray areas there are, the easier it is to get distracted with that stuff instead of where you're trying to go. So, it never is, man. Yeah, I mean, if it was, they're only doing it. Yeah. Right? It's like we have to change a little bit. So, I mean, we are on government.